Hey guys, I wanted to take a minute and do a MailChimp tutorial for you. I've had a lot of questions about how I set up and send my campaigns. And um, I know when I first started using MailChimp several years ago, I was told that they were it was really user friendly to figure out, but I did not find it user friendly at all. And even watching the tutorials, I just found them really confusing. Um, so I know that it can be really confusing when you're getting first started. So I wanted to show you how to do it. MailChimp is a free service until you start sending um, more than 2,000 emails at a time or more than a certain number of campaigns a month. So I have upgraded to the next account. Uh, you are going to go ahead and log in. The first thing you need to do is create your list. Your lists are your people that you're going to be sending your newsletter to, and you can have multiple lists, which can come in handy. I maintain VIP lists for each month, so it's my VIP um, members for the month, so I can contact them separately, give them some early access claiming, give them some other fun perks. And I also have a, a um, list for my team so that I can communicate them with them through a newsletter if I ever need to do that. And then A&D is just my general Agnes and Dora customer base. And how I got those is there is a checkbox on every single one of my Google Forms. And there's also an opt-in option on all of my invoices. So people opt into my list. And so those are my customers. Once you have created, you're just going to click Create List and you're going to follow the prompts from there. Once you've created a list, then you can set up a campaign. A campaign is really simply just an email for our purposes. Looks like they've updated. So you're going to get to see all of my past campaigns, and we'll go through kind of like the nitty gritty and view reports and stuff in just a little bit, but I want to show you how to go ahead and get set up. That way, if you just want to get started really quickly, you can do that. So these are all my past campaigns. And in just a minute, we'll look at the reporting and how we can do better. We're going to create a campaign, create an email, and then you're going to name it. Let's just say, let's call this one album sale, because I should probably send one of these out tonight to remind everybody that I'm having an album sale tomorrow, my album sale on Monday and Wednesdays. So we're going to say, who are we sending it to? We're going to choose a list. They did update this a little bit. It looks slightly different. So the list, all subscribers on the list, you can personalize that if you want. So we're going to save that. They've changed the look of this just slightly, but it's still the idea. This idea is still the same. So it's going to say Agnes and Dora by Lauren, and then it's going to default to my original email. That email was set up before, um, before they trademarked the name. So now I use Lauren at shopwithlauren.com, my domain. Sometimes I change this to like Lauren if I'm going to send it to my VIP. Sometimes I do shop with Lauren. I think for this purpose, since we're going to be reminding them about an album sale, we'll go ahead and keep it shop with um, Agnes and Dora. You can play around with that, see if it makes a difference. For the subject line, I think we're going to say new inventory, albums, album sale tomorrow because we'll send it tonight and then you can like do cute little emojis I find it's it's helpful to have an emoji or two in there it kind of gets people's attention um, I like to do the little the little running guy maybe do the I've been really into the clappy hand lately you gotta spice it up a little bit and then preview text don't miss the newest inventory Save, and then we're going to design the email. This starts looking really complicated. Don't um, don't spend too much time like worrying about this stuff right now. Just go ahead and pick one. You can worry about fancying it up later. You can worry about um, different templates and what you kind of like the best. And once you're in a template, you can change it really easily. I'll show you how. These are all completely customizable. It's really cool. And once you get a couple down, you'll see. So this logo, I don't use this box, so I want to delete it because otherwise it will show on my it will show on my email and I don't want that to. So I'm going to upload an, an image there. And I might already have one that I can use. I haven't created any new graphics. There we go. Shop with Lauren. 
eight o'clock. I do want to change that one slightly. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I have anything fun. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll stick with one of my more generic ones that I used before. So what we can do is click insert. And I had selected this one. So we'll just use this one for just for um, the purposes of this demonstration. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to link every single picture. I like for them to be able to click on everything and get where I want them to go. Okay, see this where it says showcase your products? That's someplace where you can write text. We wanna delete that box. Just click the little trash can button because we don't want anything to be there. So if you click this picture, this cover picture, you won't be able to link up, but down here you'll, you'll be able to start doing that. So. Let me show you. Let's move this up. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple for this demonstration just so you guys can get started and see what it's like to just to send the first campaign. This will drag. This should drag. There you go. There we go. So you can move these around by, by doing that and dragging them up and down. Okay, so right here, we're just going to keep it really simple for the demonstration. We're going to say... Album sale Wednesday, 6 Eastern Standard Time. And then just a little text underneath. Don't miss the newest inventory arrivals. Come shop albums with me tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then down here, I'm going to include a picture. And I've already uploaded these. I've already uploaded all these pictures previously. Let's see, there might be one that I can use. I can use this sweater one because I still have these, or I can use this. I think we'll use this because I still have some of these asymmetricals, so let's go ahead and use this one. We'll, we'll do those. And then you wanna click on link. You wanna link this bad boy up. So typically I would link it to my website, but not today, because today we want to remind them that I'm having an album sale. So today we wanna link them to my group. So they can click on it and they can join my group if they are not already in it, or if they are in it, then they can click on the event. And now if I was doing this newsletter for real, I would have done some preparation for this ahead of time. I would have already scheduled the event in my group for my album sale, um, and I would have done some graphics and things. So it was all cohesive. So just for the purposes of this, we'll just play around with it a little bit so you can see how to do it. But there is some other promotional things I would have done if I was actually sending an email for to advertise for albums. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to get this, grab this link from Facebook. This is my group link. And I'm gonna stick it right there in the URL and click insert. And then a little something extra I like to do that I only just figured out how to do is if you click this little ALT, it'll let you change the name of so that when they, they hover over, I can call this something. So we're gonna call this what this is, an asymmetrical tunic. And we can even price it. Although I don't know how much they are, so I have to look it up. I think they might be 44. I'm just going to look that up real quick because we're going to give that a price. There are 48. Okay. And then we're going to update. And then when I hover over that, when I'm the customer, it's going to say asymmetrical tunic 48. And then if they click on it, it's going to take them to my group. Super cool. Right here, I love buttons. So start, um, sh this one says start shopping. You can call them whatever you want. Um, I think I'll keep it start shopping. And then I'll, 
insert that link to my Facebook group again. You can even change the color and size and stuff so you can get all kinds of all kind of fancy up with that. And then down here, they've already given us two photos and like some information. I'm not going to do that for this purpose. It's um, I'm just going to add I'm just going to add one more photo. So I'm going to delete that. And then see over here, there's things that you can add to your email. You just click on what you want to add. So I just I just want to add one more image because I'm going to promote some boyfriends. And we're going to browse. We're going to upload our picture of boyfriends. Now, let's just say I hadn't already loaded these pictures. All you're gonna do is just click this upload button. And that is gonna allow you to scroll through your computer and pick what you want, click open and go ahead and upload it. So let's just say we wanna upload that one. It's gonna upload it into your pictures and your like back office and then populate it. So I don't wanna use that one. Not today. I wanna use my boyfriend one. So you're gonna click the picture you want, you're gonna click insert, and then we are gonna link it to my group. And we are gonna use the fancy little button over here and say boyfriends, cardigan, and then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna price this one. These are a little bit more expensive, so I want them to fall in love with it first before I tell them what the price is. So we're gonna leave the price off of that one. And then I think we're going to save and close. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of text right here. Because I, th I think I want to say something super funny. Like, come grab your favorite boyfriend or all the boyfriends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I always like to proofread it a couple times because honestly, I'm like the worst. I always end up sending something inevitably that's just not correct. So down here, they've already populated these little social media buttons, but you need to you need to put your own links in them. So for Facebook, I sometimes I direct them to my business page for this because it's an album sale. So I'm gonna drop them to my group. You can um, put you can put a text here, so you could put Facebook shopping community, and that'll just be what they see when they click on it. And then I don't do Twitter. It's not my deal. I do do YouTube though. So I'm going to go grab my YouTube link real quick because I never remember what it is. And then my Instagram is just Agnes and Dora by Lauren. And then let's put IG for Instagram. And then my website is shopwithlauren.com. And then I usually add an email. A lot of times they don't use that email link, they just reply to it. That's fine, whatever, but at least then they have my little email link if they want it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm already um, signed in, so I'm gonna sign out so that I can find my channel link. And you'd think I would have these saved. Sorry guys, you think I would have these saved? Someplace, but I just don't. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that link real quick. Stick it into my campaign there, save and close. So now I'm pretty much ready. The only thing is I just wanna preview this. So right up here, I preview and test. 
So I just want to enter preview mode and I just want to double check all my information. I want to make sure it looks good. Shopwithlearn.com, see 8 p.m. Okay, so I'm not ready to send this to customers because I actually want this to be advertising for my album sale and this is giving them my domain link, which is going to frustrate them because it's going to direct them back to Facebook. Um, and then this says 8 p.m., but really my album starts at 6. So I'm going to need to change this cover photo before I actually send this to customers. And then it says album sale Wednesday, 6. Don't miss the newest inventory arrivals. Come shop albums with me tomorrow. My picture. Now look what happens if I click it. Okay, so see, it takes me to my group right where I want it to go. And then if I click Start Shopping Now, it should take me to my group also. So we'll close these out so we can test them. Okay, it wasn't cooperating. Let's try it again. Enter preview mode. Okay, so let's see what happens if we click the start shopping button. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a glitch in the preview mode. Okay, let's try this. It looks like they've recently done um, a little facelift to their to their like behind the scenes. It looks like there's a little bit of a glitch there in that button. Okay, so see it takes them in a group. That's exactly what I want. So now we're gonna leave the preview mode. We're gonna go back to the email. We're gonna save and close. So we're all done. All done building that. You can get super fancy, give lots of fun information. Um, you're gonna Say where you're gonna send it from, inventory, the content of it, and then you can click to post this to Facebook or Twitter, which is what I would normally do. It looks like, okay, so it looks like it's, I need to select. So I would pick my business page for that and then save. And then I'm, in this case, I'm gonna finish later. You can also click schedule, which is really cool because you can say, hey, I want this to deliver at seven o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock at night or one o'clock in the morning or whatever. So typically what I'll do is, if I have a VIP one going out for early access, I will send them that email and I'll send it to them maybe earlier in the day, but the link won't be active until the afternoon. And I will send reminders for album sales and things like right as they're getting ready to start. That way when they click on it, the albums are there and they, it's instant gratification. Or the party site is loaded with new inventory, so it's instant gratification. So I do make sure that I look at the timing of when I'm doing that. So 90% of the time I'm scheduling my campaigns. So in this scenario, we are going to finish later. Otherwise you would just click send and it would ask you to confirm and then it would send it to all of your people. And that's it, you guys, it's super easy. So I hope that that was helpful. I'm gonna take just another couple minutes um, for those of you guys that wanna dig a little bit deeper and show you guys reporting. Once you send a couple, it's gonna be really important for you to spend a little bit of time in the reporting because you certainly do not wanna um, spin your wheels or spend time on non-income producing activities and you wanna know what's getting traction and what's not. So this gives you just a really basic um, overview. It's gonna tell you how many subscribers were on the list, how many people opened it, the percentage of opens and the clicks. Okay, that's decent information, but it's not really super duper helpful. So we're gonna click view, view report. Now, um, for our particular, for Agnes and Dora, we don't have an e-commerce site that I can hook into um, MailChimp, so this will never populate. I'll never be able to track that through this type of system. That's just fine. Um, there's other things I can, I can track, though. So I'm going to see opens, clicks, bounce, and I'm going to see how many people un unsubscribe from that email, and I can even see who unsubscribed. So for the purposes of this, we will click out of there. 
but you can see who unsubscribed. Any emails that bounced, you may want to look at those to see if you can clean up that email because there's a typo or some issue there. And then this is important. So when did you send it? I sent it at 8. It, the top line is the number of opens and that second line is the number of clicks. So you can see right when I sent it, I got the maximum a number of openings. The most openings I got for the campaign was right when I sent it. And then it went down overnight, but then look again. It peaks again in the morning. So if I'm looking at what time I want to send campaigns, this doesn't really tell me necessarily because all I know is that they opened it when they got it. This gives me some information. People are looking at their emails at this time, at least on this particular date. So I can go back to that date and say, what day of the week was that? So I can track it a little bit that way. Then it tells me the, the links that were clicked. So these are all the different links. So see down here, remember how I showed you I linked my Instagram and Facebook? Nobody clicked on those bottom links, zero clicks. But in the middle, I had, so this category, I linked a product, they clicked on this, so I could see how many people liked this picture. I could see how many people liked this picture, and then I could see how many people liked this picture at the top. So that actually might be interesting to click on those and see if we can see what it was that they were looking at. And then also tells you the subscribers that opened the most times, which is also useful information. So really good, awesome information in these. It's really great to kind of look at these after you sent the campaign, see how that campaign did. You may also want to try sending a campaign um, if you're going to do a sale every Friday, maybe send, send the first Friday of the month, send a campaign and structure it and have it look one way. And then the next Friday, maybe have it look different and see which one does better and sort of um, challenge yourself to, to kind of get a good, a good strategy behind your, um, your newsletter campaigns. Okay, so I'll look at that. I'll look at that a little bit later to see what pictures they actually clicked on, but it's cool because you can tell what, what was it that they liked the most, what had they clicked the most on. So that's basically MailChimp 101. It is really super user friendly and cool once you get going, um, so don't let it intimidate you. I would encourage you um, to get this started. I would encourage you um, to send one a week before your big sale. Give them a little preview, a little sneak peek of what's coming, maybe a picture of the open box with a black and white of all the picture of all the goodies inside, maybe a picture of two of you in the clothes. Um, get, do a little training on a new style that you're introducing, something like that. Um, and then make sure you utilize those links appropriately so you're directing them to the place where you want them to go. Um, it might be tempting to direct them to the party site all the time. However, that might not be in your best interest if you are trying to, if you're trying to um, build relationships. You might want to get them in a Facebook group or on your business page, if, especially if you're going to be doing a live sale. So be strategic with how you do your posting, and hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, use my information in the description below um, to get a hold of me and ask me any of your questions. If there's any other trainings that you're hoping to see, um, you can let me know those too, because I'll be working on those over the next three months. It's part of my New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys have a great successful business and I hope that this was helpful. Bye guys.